Hi, how you doing? This is Coach Big Pete of Deep Dish Football, and right now we will be previewing, previewing the DuPage Valley Conference for the 2016 season. It's it's looking very, 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 very good. Um, it's it's tough to predict. Uh, again, predictions are absolutely worthless. They mean shit. Um, a lot of talent, a lot of good coaches, a lot of good teams. It's it's going to be a dogfight. Every game is going to be important. In fact, I was talking to one college coach, and he's going to about three or four uh, DuPage Valley uh, football games to scout. So it's looking really, really good. Um, I'm going to start with some names. Again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing names or all their stuff, or some players decide to transfer to a different school, and they're still at the same school. I'm sorry, but... So, let's start. With Metavelli of Aurora. Um, Metavelli right now, <laughs> players look out for are Jalen Reed, defensive back. Johnny Jones, defensive back. Alonzo Taylor Jones, running back. So, it's going to be an interesting year for Metavelli. Um, I know they lost a couple few good seniors, but we'll see how they do. Next is Wheaton North. I'm just going to go through the players, by the way. Um, next next is Wheaton North, of course. Eric Mueller, middle linebacker. He's he's very popular. Danny Walker, athlete, great great player. Uh, great group of linebackers for Wheaton North. Uh, Luke Anthony is a quarterback that you should definitely watch out for. I believe that he's going to be uh, like a, a Sean McCormick from last season where no one really was talking about him. But this, after maybe four games... They're really going to fall in love with Luke Anthony in Illinois. So he goes to Wee North, and it, he could be a great, great, great quarterback to watch out for college. So we're also going to go to Wee and South. Wee and South, they have some great youth. Um, Nick Arthurs, uh, he's going to be good. Jacob Odom, Zach Harris, wide receivers. Ashton Jones, is, I'm sorry, Zach Harris is a quarterback. Um they have a great group of young wide receivers. Um, I don't know. I don't think they're going to do that much this season, but next season, watch out for them. They're going to be something special. But again, this season they could upset some people. Next, my next team is Lake Park. Jacob uh, Panasek. Yeah, I'm sorry, I mispronounced the name. Uh, Jarkizi Brackett, wide running back. Matt Polisaskis, another defensive tackle. Uh, their secondary is just unbelievable. Defensive line is unbelievable. They got one a hell of a defensive line coach. Great secondary. I think Lake Park can uh, do some damage with their defense, and it'll be interesting to see them. Uh, it'll be interesting to see Lake Park versus uh, Naperville Central. So that'd be a, that's going to be one great game. So Naperville Central, we got Fabian Kratz, offensive tackle. Even if he's still Naperville Central or not, I keep hearing things that he's not. He is. I just. Say uh, Trevor Campbell, Naperville Central offensive tackle, another D D one guy, both D one guys. Luke Turner, D one guy too, safety, really really good. Uh, Tommy Carlson, uh, he's going to be taking the helm at quarterback for Naperville Central. I really really like him. I think he's something special. They do have to replace uh, Emmanuel uh, Rugby Rugabama. I mispronounced the name from wide receiver for Naperville Central. He looks. He looked he looked great last season. He's a he graduated, and I think they have to find. They do have great wide young wide receivers too. So that's another that's another thing to point out. Glenn Bar North now Glenn Bar North great secondary great athletes. They can do some damage. I know there's been some complaints about Glenn Bar North running the ball too much, but they should because a lot of teams love the pass now. And if you and if you're in a mostly passing conference and you run the ball great. You can win the conference. So, players watch out for Glenbar North. Completely underrated Jace James. He just he got an offer from Northwestern. He committed to Northwestern. The guy deserves some more respect. Um, Tyreek Henderson, he's going to be one of the big DBs for 2018. Luke Turner, another guy to... Uh, no, I'm sorry, not Luke Turner. I misread. Josh Flowers, DB. Watch out for him. Uh, Greg Newsom, another one to watch out for. Jose Vasquez, offensive guard, I really like him. I saw him in a couple few camps. I think he's going to be special. Uh, so let's get, and they're, I think Glenn Bar North is going to be number one. They they have some great skill players. Naperville North, I have uh, Nick Calgano, uh, wide receiver athlete. Isaac Fels, El, A, Isaac Fels Gasso, defensive tackle. Grant Erickson, defensive back from Naperville North. Um, Naperville North 
is a sleeper. I'd watch out for him just like just like uh, Weed and Warren fell south. Um, but I think uh, Naperville North, it's going to be a little bit of a slow season this season for them. Uh, Wabanti Valley. Wabanti Valley's got another top DB uh, for next season, and that's uh, Derek Lee. They also got uh, athlete Blake Blanzy, uh John Lee, and a guy that uh, came out of Montini two years ago, uh, Josh Dominic. I know he's not he's, – he's fast. He's really, really fast. But I have a feeling that he, he might be playing the outside rusher a little bit too. Just – just have a feeling he's that he's really really effing fast. Uh, I got Nico Valley now. Nico Valley's got this stud wide receiver out of Illinois, Isaiah Robertson, who is just a pure beast. Uh, commitment to uh, a commit to Notre Dame. Uh, Owen Pish, uh, commit to Navy. He's another great another great athlete all around. Can play any position. Uh, Don, uh, Danny Navarro, wide receiver, Nico Valley, watch out for him. I really, really like him. I think he's a little spitfire, and I think he can catch that ball inside. Uh, and I have uh, linebacker John Radigan. Uh, hopefully I didn't get the position wrong. He's another good player to watch out for. So, I don't like to do this because this is a one tough conference. Because even even I said the sleepers are going to have or have a slow season, those teams you have to watch out for. Every team in the DuPage Valley Conference can win. They have the talent. And but hopefully, I'm not, no, no injuries, no Eagles. The Eagles have checked at the door. It's, it's going to be one hell of a season in DuPage Valley. It is the toughest conf, conference in the state of Illinois for high school football this season. DuPage Valley Conference. So, this is my predictions. They don't mean shit. Like I said, high school predictions, you can dump them, you can leave them at the door. This is my predictions. My predictions. Number one, I have Glenbar North. Number two, Naperville Central. Number three, Nequa Valley. Number four, Lake Park. Number five, Wheaton North. Number six, Wheaton South. Number seven, Wabonzi Valley. Number eight, Meta Valley. And number nine, Naperville North. Again, the predictions are don't mean crap. You got to play the game on the field. Simple as that. Altogether, this is looking like one hell of a schedule. Glenbar North, I that talent in the secondary, whew, I do not want to face them. And we in North, their linebacker core, whew, something special. Naperville North, I really like their young wide receivers. Check them out. Um, Meta Valley is going to have a little bit of a down year, but they're going to replenish like they always do. It just in Naperville Central, they said that they were, that uh, a couple few players were leaving and um, they graduated. But Naperville Central is is literally they always come back with great talent, great talent. And uh, Nequa Valley, they're they're going to be something special too. Um, uh, what was going to say? Uh, Nequa Valley's got uh, he's got a senior quarterback. But it'd be interesting to also see how their uh, uh, their second their the battle is between him and Askew Askoff uh, from uh, Wisconsin. He's going to be something special. He'd be another player to check out for. So, uh, I wish best of luck to Page Valley Conference. Be sure to vote for a game so deep this football can come, and uh, you get to nominate and you get to vote. I wish the best of luck to Page Page Valley Conference. I got to say, Coach Arthur from We Warrenville South. Watch out for him. Uh, Chris Roll, Lake Park coach, good coach, great coach. Um, I uh, met the coach of uh, Naperville North, good coach. Uh, Wabonzi Valley's coach has is is always been a well-known coach and a great coach. Um, I'm forgetting one team, one team, one team. We North, uh, the We North coaches do a great job, and I they do a great job with the, the linebackers, i got to say. I'm, I was really impressed with the, uh, with the ability of the linebackers. Uh, oh, that's about it. Good luck to the DuPage Valley Conference, and hopefully I see you at a game, and it's going to be one tough conference.